Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, I'm going to be ranking my recent hauls. So I've started doing this video recently and I forgot to mention in the last video that I did ranking these hauls that these videos are inspired by my friend Aniela Kniekvist. I've seen her rank her hauls for a while now, usually she ranks her monthly hauls. And even though I always come back to review all of the products that I buy, all of my hauls, all of the products that I'm testing out, I decided for 2021 that I wanna put them in the ranking style format because I just think that these are fun they're engaging i really love to watch them so i thought why not rank my hauls also so i will link angie's channel down below but for today's video i'm going to be ranking some of my recent hauls which includes products from sephora nikia joy cosmetics uh, natasha denona quite a few natasha denona products in here so let's go ahead and get started So I did want to say that I filmed this look actually for YouTube. It is going to be my next video, which is going up on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. It is trying new makeup. And I'm also doing the 21 question makeup tag that was started by Allie Glines. So that will be Tuesday's video. I'm new here. Hey, hello. Cheers to you. It's pretty late, so I have my wine as I'm doing some filming. But I upload four days a week on Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays, and also Tuesdays. I've been getting so much new makeup recently that I really wanted to sit down and play with some. So again, that will be Tuesday's video, but I do always link all of the makeup that I'm wearing in my description box down below. I do also have my hair extensions in today because I just didn't feel like curling my hair. And I don't feel like they're the best blended, but you know what? I still like them, so we're just gonna roll with it. All right, so I have, I'm gonna go from 10 to, 10 to one. I don't just have 10 products, I have more, but some of them I have grouped together because that is how we do things over here. So we're gonna go from number 10 to number one. All right, to jump into it at number 10, I will say, I like all of these products. Like nothing is an out and about like fail, I don't recommend this sort of thing i like all, all of these products some of them i just like more than the others but towards the bottom of the list i was like how am i ranking these like i i this was this was good my recent hauls have been really good okay but at number 10 i put in the elf lash it out loud mascara so this is a little mini mascara that i bought from the website i think it was like four dollars or something like i just threw it in my cart because i was like i don't know that's pretty affordable it's not a, t a bad mascara i did use it today to prep my lashes but i did leave my lower lashes blank because i do get quite a bit of transfer from this um not like it, it's not the the worst mascara on me but i've said in my in a recent video that I wonder with my skin turning more oily, I used to be really, really dry and now I'm more combo oily, coily, is I wonder if I have troubles with mascaras because of that, because sometimes I feel like there's mascaras that people swear don't budge and I'm like, it's all over my face. So, you know, there's that. So it's not like the absolute worst. Um, you kind of have more, it, it's more of a plastic wand and you kind of have some more of these like spiky bristles on here. Again, I think it's a fine mascara. I wish it didn't move on me as much. And while it makes my lashes longer, it's, it's not one of those mascaras that I'm like, oh wow, this is doing big things for me. But it's not like, it's not bad. <laughs> Coming in at number nine, I like this product. I have this product on today but the shade match is wrong. So that's why it's coming in at number nine. Again, I like all these products, so just trying to rank them, I'm like, it's kind of harder for me to wear this because I feel like the shade match is not great on me. That is from Fenty Beauty. It's their new powder foundation, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. So I picked this one up from Sephora. Even though I don't really wear powder foundations, a lot of people seemed interested in it. I like Fenty Beauty as a brand, though not everything works for me. I'm typically not always intrigued but like 90 percent of the time i'm intrigued by their releases and i buy all of them myself some of them work for me some of them don't this one it would be so much better if the shade match was better um it's a little bit too warm toned and a little bit too yellowing on me i have noticed the times that i wear it i'm like oh something something seems off here so again i will show this in tuesday's video and i have it just over the auric and my concealer i had been using this was just over foundation kind of as a setting powder but i really wanted to be able to use it just as a powder foundation even though again that's not a, a makeup technique or style that i gravitate towards these days i used to but i really don't anymore but i i don't mind the powder i don't think it's too heavy i don't think it's too cakey i don't think it's too drying uh, i think that it looks good it's not for a powder foundation, I don't I don't feel like it 
makes me look like super flawless like maybe some of my liquid foundations do but i think that it looks good and it helps even out skin tone just again biggest thing for me is that the shade matches is, is not great so this is 220 I did actually, and what's so funny is that I ordered a bunch of products from Sephora online, but then I actually went in store specifically for this so I could swatch it because with Fenty, I, I seem to have issues picking out their complexion products, uh, their complexion shades. They have a lot, which is obviously fantastic, but sometimes it makes it harder to choose. So I actually went in store. I had an employee help me swatch it, and we were both like, this is a fantastic swatch. Like, it looks amazing. And even though this was in the warm category, and I typically lean neutral or cool, I was like, well, it looks so good. I swatched it on my neck. I was like, literally, we were both like, wow, that's the best swatch ever. But when I put it all over my face, I really, I don't feel like it looks too bad today. I mean, I did mix it in with another powder also, the All My Powder. Like, I was, I was trying to make things work, knowing that I had to film another video. But there's a few times where I didn't quite catch it right away. And I'd be playing a video back or, like, playing, like, a IG Reels or a TikTok back. And I'm like, why does my skin look so yellow? So this one is just really the shade match. At number eight, I have these brushes here from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. So I placed an order from the Nikia Joy Cosmetics website, got a few of the products. You'll be seeing the rest of them coming in down the line. I did purchase three brushes. I also purchased their blending brush, but I can't find it. I lose things like crazy. It's kind of ridiculous, but especially when it comes to new makeup, like I have a new system I'm gesturing because my new system is over here and I have these little bins and I put everything in them. But <laughs> literally everything was everything else that I'm reviewing was in those bins, except for the products that I used today. They were next to me, but they were in the bins originally, except for these brushes. This one was on my desk, and this one I already put into like where I store my actual makeup brushes, which that's not what I do with new makeup. Otherwise, things get lost in the other room. So this is why I put them in the bins, but the brushes are not there, and now I don't know where the blending brush is. So again, it's getting late, so I really just wanted to get this video filmed. But I purchased three of the brushes from Nikia Joy. Now the eye brushes, I don't mind. Um, I, I definitely like the eye brushes the most. The blending brush isn't the softest blending brush that I've ever tried, but it, it got the, the job done. And then I also did pick up the flat shader, which again, I, I thought this was a nice brush. I didn't really love the bronzer brush. I do use this in Tuesday's video, but I actually use it as a contour because it's a pretty, like it's a pretty like sculpted brush. I feel like it's just better for contour versus like sweeping on a bronzer. I feel like it's a little bit too harsh for bronzer, especially if I have a more pigmented bronzer. Like my collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics is a very pigmented bronzer. And I remember I used this once with it and I was like, oh, okay, that's like, I need something that's a little bit, looser i can just sweep the bronzer on to make it look a little bit more natural this makes it look like a little bit more stilted and harsh on the cheek but for a contour brush i like it um again i'm you guys know i love makeup brushes i love trying new makeup brushes and i would just say out of these again they're not bad brushes i don't anything nothing that i'm reviewing in this video do i think is a bad product i just don't see them becoming like one of my favorites sigma beauty bk beauty refer brushes moda real techniques like those are some of my favorite brush brands off the top of my head but these were still pretty good i mean i'm, I'm gonna keep using them number seven from nikia joy i also have her lashes so i purchased two pairs of lashes i do have the april lashes on right now and then i also purchased these samantha lashes i haven't put these on yet i used to own these years ago i owned a bunch of nikia joy cosmetics lashes uh so i actually used to have the samanthas but i don't think i've ever had the aprils and they're the first ones that i went with and i'll probably just wear these for a while until it's time to bust into these ones. I just, I rewear lashes as much as I can. And again, I do like these lashes. The bands are, they're one of those that sometimes I can have a love-hate relationship with because they are such a thin band, which I love because I feel like it's really easy to hide within your lashes. And I do not like a thick band. I would much prefer a thin, like I would prefer the lash band to be too thin than too thick. Too thick hurts my eyes. It irritates them. It weighs down my eyes. I feel like it doesn't look as natural. But sometimes when you get something that is so thin, it's almost a little bit trickier. It's just trickier to work with. But again, I would prefer too thin versus too thick, but I like these lashes. I would definitely recommend them. At number six from Rare Beauty, I have the blush from their Stay Vulnerable line. I really like this blush. Again, like, especially, 
I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I liked all of these products, but especially probably from here to number one, I'm like, I don't really know how to rank these because I think they're all really good. This is a cream blush and I am not into cream blushes as much. I actually use the new ones from NARS on my cheeks today. Uh, I, they're just, I'm not the best at them yet. But this is the nearly neutral, nearly neutral blush. I really like the packaging on it. I think that looks really good. But I actually really like this blush. And I'm saying actually and in a surprised manner because I bought a few products from the first drop from Rare Beauty and I didn't really love anything. And what I said about the line is that not that I thought that they were bad products, they just weren't really suited to me and my makeup styles and you know the types of makeup products that I go for. I don't really do the liquid highlights or the liquid blushes. The lipstick was just a little bit too sheer for me. So I'm like, you know, it's just not really for me. But again, just like what I was saying with Fenty, it's a brand that intrigues me. And when they, when they come out with new products, I'm interested in trying them. I buy them myself. Like, I feel like everybody's on the Rare Beauty PR, not me, which is not... I get it. I wouldn't put me on there either. But you know, like, I'm buying all of the products because I'm curious about them. So I bought this blush and even though I was like... It's a cream blush, like you're not gonna like it, and then everyone's gonna really think that you had a feud with Selena Gomez and she's no longer invited to Girls Night. I really enjoy it. I find it best to apply with a damp sponge, but I love the color. It's more of a neutral blush, like the name would suggest. Love the color, easy to apply, wears well. I'm actually really happy with this one. At number five, I did group these ones together because pretty much like I wear them together quite a bit but these are the Natasha Denona lips that I purchased uh, I picked these up from Sephora so the lip liner is in Dana and then I also got the I need a nude lipstick in the shade Noah so these are both uh, brown nude I do actually have the lip liner on today with one of the new NARS lipsticks and I <laughs> Once again, I really like these. Um, I would say if I had a preference between the two, probably I, f I wear the lip liner more, but it's just, it's such a smooth, creamy, easy lip liner. I actually had to sharpen it today before I used it, S but super smooth. I like that darker nude color. And then for the shade Noah, this is more of a matte lipstick, which is my preference. I do enjoy me a good matte like beautiful shade also nice and long wearing it is slightly drying I will say sometimes matte bullet lipsticks can be a little bit on the drying side and this one I find I notice if I wear it the entire day by the end of the night I'm like oh yeah I'm wearing a matte lipstick but it's nothing that really sticks out to me but if you hate any sort of drying you you might not like this one but really happy with these two tell you I lose makeup at a weird rate I have <sighs> this next product I couldn't I was like I know I brought it into this room where did it go I tell I tell you my this this room my filming room is like the Bermuda Triangle for makeup <laughs> it's not safe it ain't safe it ain't safe <laughs> says Jeezy at number four though is another rare beauty product this is their does it does it not say on here I hate I, I hate that this is like their glossy lip balm their glossy lip balm. I also got the shade Nearly Neutral in this. What? What? I did not see this coming. I really did not. And this is one that I wasn't even planning to buy. I was going to buy the blush when the collection was announced. I was like, the blush is what I'm most interested in. But then I started hearing really good things about the gloss. And I was like, you know what? Fine, whatever. I'll just throw it in and see how it goes. And I actually ended up liking it just a smidge over the blush. I don't know how to explain this lip balm. It really almost makes my lips look a little bit bigger, but it just gives them almost like that like pouty quality to them. And it's not supposed to be a plumping gloss. Like it doesn't tingle. It doesn't do any of that. But it just kind of gives this like overly juicy look to the lips. It gives a little bit of color. Again, I don't like glosses that are super pigmented. I like sheer, I like shimmery glosses, but this shade, again, nearly neutral, just gives you like a little so that I was really excited at how much I enjoyed this. Coming in at number three, I have these sponges from a DSMD shop. You guys gotta get these sponges. You gotta get these sponges. And you know, like I try not to say that you need something often because it's like what do we really need at this point but like you need to get these sponges a there are some super cute sponges available on the website I got this one I got a mint green one I got a mauve one I got a brown one they are super soft like when I think of a sponge 
that I just absolutely love the feel of it. It's it's this one right here. Like this is what I love and these are only six dollars. These are only six dollars. Like you gotta get these sponges. I bought four of them. I'm super happy with them. I used uh, the brown one today. Actually, do I have it next to me? No, I used the brown one today for my powder and also for my blush and I just highly recommend these. In at number two, number one and number two, it was really tough. It was really tough. Again, everything was good that I was trying in this video, but at number two, I put the mini love palette from Natasha Denona. Oh yes. All right. So I purchased this one from the Natasha Denona website. Actually it was $25. I love the mini palettes from Natasha Denona. I'm such a fan of them and I enjoy this one so much. Uh, I have a video here on YouTube with three different looks with it and I, I can see myself reaching for this one quite a bit. I love pinks and I love purples. I think I do go for my neutrals a little bit more often. Like I love what I have on today using a new ColourPop palette, but this one is also very fun. The mattes were actually different than what I thought they were going to be. They're a lot, like even this, like this is a, a very pigmented, beautiful shade. I just, I'm so happy with this palette. So glad that I bought it. Love my love palette. Now I love the mini love. I think we're gonna be really happy together. When that means at number one, it is the Nakia Joy Cosmetics setting powder. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think it's called the Velvet Finishing Powder. People have been telling me to buy this powder for such a long time. For such a long time. I have heard nothing but good things. Like this is what's like this is why I wanted to make a purchase from Nikia Joy Cosmetics because I finally wanted to try this powder. In my defense, I did have really dry skin for many years, like I was saying, and powder was not a part of my regular routine. It was not uncommon for me to do my foundation and not set it. Like that wasn't a thing for me for, for a long time because of how dry my skin was. But now that I have more coily skin, I definitely do powder quite, I mean, I, I powder every single day, no matter what, I'm always powdering my skin. I've come to enjoy like using powder to clean up uh, like bronzer or contour to clean up in here. I tried to do a nose contour thing following a TikTok today. I don't think it really worked out for me the best, but I tried. And you do like powder on the sides of your nose. Like I use powder every single time I do my makeup now. So I'm interested in having a little bit more depth to my powder collection if you will i was like you know what it seems like the time i'm just gonna go ahead and purchase this this is such a nice powder i have been using it so so often it actually has like a nice smell to it not like it's super fragranced or like perfume but it just almost has that like vanilla cupcake when i open it i'm like ooh, like when i put it on my face i don't smell anything but when I open the cap I'm like this seems nice it's just like oh it's just like a nice little treat for you how would I describe this like it's very blurring which I appreciate like I like the milk makeup blur setting powder because I really do think that it helps blur and I do have pores obviously most people do I like to pretend that we don't have them we like to blur them out and it just makes my under eyes look so smooth it I it's such a beautiful powder it is absolutely worth all of the hype that I've heard about this Nikia Joy setting powder when I was between I mean honestly like either one of these could have come in first place but when I was thinking about it I was like I'm going to use this powder you guys know I have a huge eyeshadow palette collection I'm constantly trying new eyeshadow palettes for reviews and for looks but for something like a setting powder I'm gonna constantly go back to this and constantly go back to this I could truly use this every single day so that's why I decided to rank it over the Natasha Denona even though this is more expensive I think this was $38 and this was 25 but again i feel like i'm just gonna get so much use out of the nikia joy if you were wondering if it's worth picking it up you use loose setting powder in your routine and you're looking for a good one no flashback with this you know i've put it all over my face i've baked my entire face with this i've never had issues with flashback or anything like that so highly highly recommend that one from nikia joy cosmetics so after that that is it from 10 to 1 ranking the products in my recent haul thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you did enjoy it though please make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video. Bye.